like to call this meeting to order. Please rise for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. I just want to welcome everybody. This is just a adjournment meeting that we typically have as a caucus meeting at the end of the year. Uh, so that's why we're not dressed in our suits and stuff like that. But, uh, we appreciate everybody showing up tonight. Uh, roll call, please. Uh, Mayor Cos. Here. Mrs. Kelly. Here. Mr. Lobenstein. Here. Mr. Farrell. Here. Mr. Root. Here. Mrs. Passio. Here. Mr. Ranieri. Here. I guess Mr. Wood is not coming. Yes, he's not coming this evening. And uh, Mr. Giorgio. Here. Okay. Public notice of this meeting pursuant to the Open Public Meetings Act has been given by the clerk in the following manner. One posted on the bulletin board in the borough clerk's office on January 6, 2017, and two emailed to the retrospective courier post on January 6, 2017. First order of business is uh, minutes and request approval of the minutes from the November 28th and December 5th, 2017 meet meetings as submitted by the clerk. Is there a motion? Motion by Mr. Lobbinson. Second by Ms. Passio. All in favor? Aye. Okay, any opposed? Approved. Communications, a uh, note from Anita Marta, thank you, Mayor and Council, for a retirement plaque and gift card. Uh, it's from uh, more than I can say. Thank you for the uh, breakfast plaque and the gift card. What a surprise and thoughtful from all of you. I will be around to see you all. Did you see the card? No. Okay. Well, it's only a cop. Okay, is there a motion to accept the uh, card? I'll second that motion. Second by Mr. Root, second by Ms. Patio. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, new business? We have resolution 17-174 as a resolution awarding a contract for animal control services for 2018. This is the, uh, it's 2018 and 2019, right? Well, I'm not really sure. We have the option to well, we can, two more years on. So. Well, why don't we renew it for 18, for 18 mm -hmm, and then if the contract allows it. Uh, this contract is less expensive than this previous year, and it's the vendor who did work for us for, what, 10 years before? Yeah. He was good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, just to let everybody know, animal control cost us uh, $475 a month, plus some additional fees uh, that's on the schedule. Is there a motion? I'll make the motion. I'll second. Motion by Mr. Ranieri, second by Mr. Farrell. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. Powell. Yes. Mrs. Kelly? Yes. Mr. Lobbinson? Yes. Mrs. Pasco? Yes. Mr. Ranieri? Yes. And Mr. Ruth? Yes. Six eyes. This resolution is adopted. Resolution 16-175 is a resolution authorizing a shared service agreement between the Borough Runnymede and Gloucester Township for the purchase of brine solution. Uh, this is something we've done every year. It's been working out well. We, we do uh, Gloucester Township and uh, Gloucester City. Is there a motion? by Mr. Root, second by Ms. Passio. Any other discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Kelly. Yes. Mrs. Passio. Yes. Mr. Lobbinson. Yes. Mr. Root. Yes. Mr. Fowler. Yes. Mr. Ramirez. Yes. All right, the resolution is adopted. Resolution 17-176 is a resolution providing for the insertion of special items of revenue in the budget of the borough running meeting pursuant to New Jersey Statute 40A. Uh, this is the, Jim, is this correct? The uh, recycling tonnage grant. For 10,588. Yes. Okay, this gets inserted in the next year's budget. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion. I'll second that motion. Motion by Mr. Ranieri, second by Ms. Kelly. Any other discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. Fowler. Yes. Mrs. Kelly. Yes. Mr. Lobbinson. Yes. Mrs. Passio. Yes. Mr. Ranieri. Yes. Mr. Ruth. Yes. The resolution is adopted. Resolution 17-177 is a resolution authorizing a refund to mortgage services company due to an erroneous payment made to the wrong municipality. Yeah, it's a lot of, it's a mouthful. Wow. But actually, uh, the CoreLogic, the biggest mortgage services company, uh, paid by wire is paying back that money that they didn't have to pay back. It should have been a block and lot in Barrington. And they, uh, and yes, and they sent me all the paperwork, so we were refunding them the money. We've already notified the uh, other town, the homeowner. Oh, cool. uh, no, but I didn't notify Christy. You told Christy, yeah. Okay, yeah, so 2058 and 52 cents. Um, is there a motion? I'll make a motion. 
I'll second that motion. Motion by Mr. Farrell, second by Ms. Passio. Any other discussion? Roll call, please. Uh, Mr. Ranieri? Yes. Mr. Ruth? Yes. Mr. Farrell? Yes. Mr. Lobenstein? Yes. Mrs. Passio? Yes. And uh, Mrs. Kelly? Yes. Okay, resolution is adopted. Resolution 17-178 is a resolution authorizing the CFO to make transfer transfers between appropriations in the 2017 budget. Uh, Mr. Diori, do you want to elaborate just a little bit? Sure. sure. Each year in November... Take the microphone. I keep the we have an audience. Okay. Each year in November and December, the state allows us to make appropriation transfers Certain budget items um, are adjusted based on the needs of the township each year, and this gives us an opportunity to either increase or decrease each appropriation in order to make make things happen as far as uh, operations of the town. So, okay, so we're moving one hundred ten thousand two hundred dollars from the one side and hundred to one hundred ten thousand dollars to another side. Right. Okay, Does I'll make a motion. Make a motion, Mr. Ranieri. Well, sir. Second by Mr. Lobenstein. Any other discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. Farrell? Yes. Uh, Mrs. Kelly? Yes. Mr. Lobenstein? Yes. Mrs. Passio? Yes. Mr. Ranieri? Yes. And Mr. Lee? Yes. Uh, and the resolution is adopted. Resolution 17 179 is a resolution authorizing the Borough of Army to enter into an interlocal service agreement with the County of Camden for furnishing and delivery of sodium chloride. Someone want to make a motion? I'll make a motion. I'll second that motion. Motion by Mr. Root, second by Ms. Passio. Um, any other discussion? No? Uh, roll call, please. This is basically uh, the salt that we, we purchased salt through the county. Atlantic Salt Company was the low bidder. So uh, our community, plus most of the adjoining towns, we all buy salt together. The county purchases it, and then we share in those purchases and save money by buying together. Uh, roll call, please. Mrs. Passio. Yes. Yes. Mr. Fowler? Yes. Mr. Root? Yes. Mrs. Kelly? Yes. Mr. Yes. yes. All right, the resolution is adopted. Okay. Uh, we have a uh, request authorization to issue used car lot licenses to Belmar Collision, Automax Inc., and Toyota of Runnymede. All paperwork is in order. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion. I'll second that motion. Motion by Ms. Kelly, second by Ms. Passio. All in favor? Aye. Okay. The licenses will be issued. Okay, now we have, we are waiting for the new place on the pipe. The new place on the pipe. Okay. Uh, okay, payment of bills. Is there a motion to pay the monthly bills? I make a motion to pay the monthly bills. I'll second that motion. Motion by Ms. Passio, second by Ms. Kelly. All in favor? Aye. Oh, no, excuse me, roll call. I missed that. Uh, Money. Yes. Mr. Ruth? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Yes. Yes. Mr. Lobson? Yes. Mrs. Passio? Yes. And Mrs. Kelly? Yes. Okay, the payment of bills shall occur. Uh, good and welfare. This portion of the meeting is open to the general public. Anyone wishing to speak, please come to the microphone, state your name and address. Good evening, Mayor, Council. Um, my name is Debbie Porto, and that's Lee Mikulski. Debbie Porto, your address? I'm sorry. Oh, 37 South Reed Avenue, Runnymede, okay. New Jersey. And um, I represent the Runnymede Seniors. Lee Mikulski is with me also. She's the president. She uh, resides at 24 South Reed Avenue. And Mike Simon and my husband, they're also members of the Runnymede Senior. Um, we're here today because um, we understand that the upcoming budget for 2018. And we feel that at this point, if there is some room in your budget, we would like an, allot, you know, an allocation for the seniors. We've never really asked for anything. And Mayor Capatis, thank you very much for your support and a few things that we've done. Um, we really, you know, we collect membership. We have to pay for janitorial services each month. Um, we collect sunshine for, you know, people that are deceased, sick, baskets, that kind of thing. Uh, we also contribute to the pantry over at Trinity Lutheran, which I believe the doors are always open to anyone in need. And then the neighboring churches, I imagine. But right now, uh, you know, let's face it, um, we only have about maybe 60-something members 
in the club, and we're getting older, and we're kind of generating revenue within the inside. So we can't even, we don't even have the means to, you know, uh, you know, actually go out and try to generate any revenue, because we don't have any money to do anything with it. So we were just thinking that, you know, maybe like to a lot us, I mean, I would think maybe right off the top of my head, like $1,000 for the year. Because just in janitorial services alone, we were paying 35 a month. And then um, we do have also um, like chances, go to the order, and you know, again, that's within the club. So we're just generating our own monies. And um, whatever's collected, it depends on whoever gives. And then um, they divide it. 25 goes for the kitchen, which includes coffee, cream, creamers, pastries. Um, so um, basically- What would you be looking the money for? What, what do you need paid for? You have a shortfall, I'm assuming, this year? You were short money to do certain things? Yes. Give me yes. an example of what you didn't, couldn't do this year that you wanted to do. Well, like I said, we have, we have bills that our, our treasury actually is getting lower and lower. So the cleaning is something you do at $35 a month. Well, it's $35 a month. Now I understand that our cleaning person, I, I don't know, she hasn't you know, reported to, you know, so I don't know if they have to get somebody else. It may be even more. I don't know what the services are or who they would hire. Okay. So that's one item. Um, and then again, um, whenever, you know, we have like, outings or whatever, um, not that I'm asking that anybody should donate for our entertainment, I'm not saying that, but it kind of puts it in. completely inappropriate though, you do know we do things for the community. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, if it was open to all the seniors and open to all the, not just the members, everybody, we would be happy to partner with the seniors. Oh yeah, they something. would be, they would be. And um, we've spoken about this at our meetings, Patty could tell you, she yeah. was there. And, um, you know, we're just at, at a point where we just feel that, let's face it, the seniors, we're still around. We still come out and vote, and a lot of our seniors are still active, you know, in community affairs. They know what's going on. So we just feel that this, you know, this allocation wouldn't be too unfair. And at this point, like I said, you know, we upped our membership a little bit, but we have our membership, but in the meantime, I get membership say, dues, do you mean? You yes, dues. our membership dues. What are your current dues? Ten. Ten okay. a year. Ten a year? Tough. It used to be eight. Okay. <laughs> are you acquiring new members? Well, that's it. We do what we're trying. We try to do that. Um, you need help from us to, with the members? Like, I mean, Runamy, we have a lot of seniors in our community. I know. I've been even putting us. things on good old Runamy. And, um, excuse me. Yeah, I've been putting things on good old front of me. If we have um, any kind of functions, I advertise, like come out, even, you know, an introduction to our meeting. Come out, you know, just as a guest. And so the new members that we are getting, it kind of balances because then we have members that are, that are deceased. Yes. At, or they're shut-ins. You know, they can't, they can't come out. And so we try to help them with that also. You know, if they need any services, but again, everything that we do is within the club. So it's all our money. You know what I mean? We're not getting any outside funding. A lot of your fundraise, you did fundraisers, and that was your bus trips. And that has slacked off some, correct? That, you know, Patty, I don't know exactly. Yeah, it's supposed to be. So, a, so a, now what they've done, or what they have tried to do, is share. But a lot of times we can't get the with number. The woman's, with the woman's we can't get the numbers. I don't know exactly so what. Carolyn Lawn used to be in charge of that. Yep. So it has well, slacked down this year. I know that Ms. Passio has already said that in next year's budget we talked about like using some of our, our funds could be used to, you know, for a senior event. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, lunch and dinner. But of course we'd have to open it up to everybody, not just the members, but I think we would want to invite oh, everyone see. from the town and maybe that would gain more oh, membership. Yeah. Oh my God. I mean, you know, whatever you know, whatever advertising we could get or to get new members, we're always about that. Do you think if we did something like that, like a luncheon, that the the, the seniors that don't show up might come to a you know a, an event like that where they would have 
food and entertainment and things like that at the borough? I think that would help. I mean, you said 67 members. I know we've got hundreds and hundreds right. of seniors. Yeah, so I see what you're saying. Like, open it up to whoever wants to come, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But you, you have to understand it's, it's, it's a Saturday. It's one hour. You know, so there are a lot of well, that's just the meeting. Yeah. Now, I was thinking outside that yeah. Saturday. You're yeah. thinking a different yeah. day. For different a setting. Yeah, I mean, we talk, well, I'm just talking about the seniors itself. If you want to join and become a senior, you know, it's basically, they think, mm -hmm. that's how they think. They think, oh, it's one hour taken out of my Saturday to come there, and it's, See, the know. thing of it is, is that, you know, Belmar, they have a lot of groups. They have their own building. They have, they could do a spaghetti dinner. You guys have a building? I'm sorry, what? You have a building. Yeah, but it's not, they, that's their building. They can be there all day if they want. I've tried to go in yeah. that building and I've been chased out uh, by the seniors. Well, you're, building. well you're too young. <laughs> you guys could utilize that building 24 hours a day, seven days a week. bingo that goes on in there. They yeah, we only there. get it like you maybe one time. hour, one hour a month, and then I think they have bingo. Have cards open to anybody who wants to come. There is, it's posted on the door. The library is aware of it, and they tell, yeah, you know, tell people that it's available. They'll let people in. Um, but you only yeah. want members to show up, right? Or, or, now, anybody even... in the town. My phone has an answering machine. I get a lot of weird calls. Uh, you know, people who, what's it all about? How old do you have to be? Um, so you do get calls? I get calls at home. Do you find that the building isn't open enough for activities? Do you think we need to do more to have it open? I mean, I mean. Uh, I, I have talked up the activities that are there now. You know what's happening is that our seniors are aging. Not me, but the other people. Yeah. <laughs> and they're, and they're very contented. You know, yeah. It's and, some kind of incentive. I mean, you know, um, we did have this uh, Tom Rivers, it was like a, a luncheon cruise, and we had a great turnout with that. And the seniors have to pay for that, too. Yes, yes, they, they, they all have to pay and buy a ticket. Yeah. So what do you want to do with the money? What's, what do you want to give to the seniors with that money? Okay, we subsidize. Um, the two dinners that we have, that is subsidized um, to keep the cost down for seniors. Um, we'd like to be able to give back. You know, just to for the seniors to use it. Maybe we could. So that the seniors don't have to pay for a ticket. Maybe is that? I mean, I don't understand. What no, I think what you're saying, give back. You want to? Uh, you know, I just help. I don't want to pay for their trips. I don't want to pay for their dinners. I will help them. I want to give them three dollars so we can keep the cost down. Everybody's complaining. You know, they're old. They're on senior citizens. They're on Social Security. They don't have the money. That's exactly what we hear. We can't go to, we can't go to the meetings. Oh, I don't know if I can afford going to the dinner. And I understand that a lot of these people are really, really. Old. Municipal Alliance gives them a, a dinner and a show. They also offer them. Well, I think what we can do is we can partner. We could partner up with some of these events. So all we, all we would like, we even did white elephants this year, trying to generate some money. You know. But again, it's us. Well, it's always you know, the same bring people, yes. Nicky Max, put it on the table and hope somebody buys it, and all the money goes back into the club. Oh, I got lots. I got lots. But, you know, all the money goes into the club. It doesn't come out here. We just need to know that we've got the backing of council. Yeah. The, if we had a way to generate again. Mr. This is our new CFO administrator, Mr. Dioria. Why don't you, get his, you want to give him your card? Yeah. And he's going to be helping us out write the budget this year. So one of the things we've been talking about is where, you know, where our money goes. You know, our, our, the budget is our priorities. So obviously, this can be a priority for us to partner with the, this part of the community, just like we partner with other parts of the community for recreation, youth programs, uh, different things like that. You know, so this can be part of it. Excuse me, but Mayor, it isn't even like for entertainment or at this point for our treasury, for our, the amount, okay? It's... It would be a problem if we get a lot of money for... Oh, <laughs> no, no, it's got to be recorded. <laughs> oh, excuse me, okay. Um, I might break out in song. I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. I don't like the thing. Um, but what I'm saying is that it would be a big help even to help us with the janitorial every month. That would help us a little bit. Um, 
more funding maybe we collect for the church. Maybe we get $30 each month. What is that? Well, one of the things we typically do, and we've been talking about maintaining the borough better, and that would be something we've talked about as our janitorial services. I don't know if you want to elaborate on that. Um, well, I do believe that a strong senior center is important in the, in the community. Um, I have some ideas that I could probably uh, pass along to you if you give me a call based on based on my experience in other, yeah. other places, and um, that may be able to generate some revenue. And also in developing the budget, we may be, I may be able to take a look at your expenses and your treasury and find out a way where the borough can help um, subsidize some right, of the, I mean, for the some cleaning, of right off the bat, that's what, maybe 400 a year? Yeah. So that could help us. Yeah, we could offset some of your cost uh, because it is borough property. Uh, we could, you know, do some of the maintenance and things like that. I mean, obviously working with you guys together. Yeah. I mean, but, I mean we're, you know, we're just throwing it out there. We just really never asked for anything. Um, and, you know, I'm sure within the borough, other organizations might get allotted. I don't know. But I feel that the seniors at this point, I think we deserve something. Okay. All right. I understand. Please, please, please give me a call. I would definitely... Yeah. Uh, Mike? Okay. You know, uh, I also want to say that before our meeting, which is once a month, um, we go the day beforehand and clean. We vacuum. We wipe down tables I know you guys do. where people have eaten during the month. Um, it's pretty disgusting, I have to say, because I've done it. Well, the people that are eating during the month, it's the seniors that go there during the day. Um, so It's not just, you know, see, no, it's two days a week. That seniors might be there at one table, mm -hmm. but there's so, nobody else that. Who else do you think is going into the building? I, I have no idea. Okay. I, I, well, I, the cameras I, on the building. Uh, public Works was had access to it. Well, they're there to repair, do maintenance and repair. Uh, is there lunch if it's hot out? No. Really? No. 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 I don't know. No. Okay. I was told they did. Okay. No. They don't. No. I'm sorry. No. I'm just repeating that as well. But let me tell you. It gets pretty disgusting. Well, that's and something we can do. And jelly is not something old people usually eat. So, whatever. I, yeah, it really doesn't matter. But what I'm saying is we I try to maintain it. that room. <laughs> that room's locked, though, all the time. Yes, Even I don't have a key is. to that room. Uh, it's locked on the outside. The library has access to unlock. So the library has access. Yes. And, and I was told that the library has allowed people to use the... the Facilities, okay. Uh, the bathrooms, whatever. So I don't know who's in there. I don't really care, except I'm cleaning up once a month. Um, so what I'm saying is, we try to maintain what we can. Well, I think what we can do. Some of the things we can do is, is try to maintain the building better. Maybe we can do a little more uh, advertising. Obviously, there's not even you know I'm in the sign, but there's not even a sign on the front that says it's the Runnermead Seniors uh, Building there. Uh, I did. We did have. Um, Papers, bulletins that we had, uh, we had, we put them in the into the library. I put them into the new civil building. Yeah. I got nothing. So Nobody showed up. You mean? No. Oh. Yeah, we can definitely so, help out. Um, can I ask the borough? Um, they have a website. Yes, we do. Okay. I clicked onto it. This was a while ago. Is there anything for seniors? We have we a list of all the on clubs. We have a, I didn't see a web page for us. There's a there's a there's a page on the website that lists all the organizations in the town. And maybe if you guys have a link or you want us to link to something. Say, yeah, yeah, that our newsletter. It's on the can, back. That would be link. great. That would be good. There's a lot of seniors. It's, it's in. Have I understand. It's that. in. It's in our Fourth of July booklet. Anytime, any kind of advertising, we do. Yeah. And, and the borough is going to do a better job with signage throughout the whole uh, community. We have our electronic message board that's going to be going up shortly. So those are things that we can help out. And we've always talked about at, the, at that facility having another sign down there to promote all the activities that are going on uh, down there. We lowered the age. We lowered the age from, it was 62 at one point, we lowered it to 55. And so other neighboring towns. Well, you still haven't gotten me yet, so. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Well, whatever we can do to help you, I think if you guys reach out to Jim, he'll definitely, he's putting the budget together. Ms. Pascio, we've already talked about some of the things that we can do through her budgeting. 
Um, because you're right, we do do things for other, uh, you know, people in the community. The seniors are an important part. It's great you do stuff for the kids. Absolutely great. Halloween, whatever. Christmas, what time is But the old people need it too. That's all the same. Well, like the, the concerts, we, I, I'm always thinking of the seniors. We have the bus that comes out to pick them up at the Runson House and throughout Runnymede. So if there's a senior that wants to come out to something, you know, for the public events, we're, we're, we're offering it. I always offer it. Yeah. So we do offer things. Yeah. Maybe we can partner a little bit more, though. Okay. Okay? Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Oh, one more thing. Um, in the 4th of July break, could we have a flute? Everyone's welcome to have a float. We also have a contest, so best floats get uh, we'll monetary. We'll do the twist or the trust. There we go. Mike, did you want to say something? Yeah, I, want, I keep saying it over and over. Mike Simon? Yeah, Mike Simon, 572, Sheraton Lane, Runby, New Jersey. You got to do it. Yeah, council members who like 62, could you please join? These seniors, I'm not asking for your wife or your husband, but just yourself. You know, you can pay by the township ten dollars to join the seniors. Yeah, we're all fifty up here. I don't know what you're talking. No, no, sixty-two. <laughs> Anybody who's sixty-two, could you please join? You know, no big deal. Even though I'm twenty-six, I did join. Okay. Yeah, I'm, right. I'm asking you, Mayor. Ask them. Please. I will. Yeah. Okay. Join. Also, if they also on the planning board, if they join, please. They don't have to come to the meetings if they don't want. They just but want the $10? They join, yeah, $10. Yeah. The $10. Yeah, All right. Okay. I think they should show up. I agree. Uh, there is a rule that yeah. says yeah. you have to come to at least three. At least and you know what? Our members would yeah. love, like, members of the council, they have a lot of questions about the town. You know, Patty, how we could extend Every the time I go there, you run me out of there, though. Yeah. Yeah. They have a lot of questions, but you only get five minutes. Yeah, you, you run me out. I talk too long. Oh, I get 10 yeah. minutes? Anytime you want me to be there, I'll be there. I'm sure everyone else would show up if you wanted them to show up. I'll bring my ten dollars. One time I put money in the uh, the kitty and I won it. I didn't even want it. I didn't want to take the money. I knew I wouldn't make it out of there. And he gave it back. Oh, yeah. It was a tough crowd. Anytime you want us there, we'll be there. Okay. Uh, anyone else? Anyone else wish to speak? Mr. White? No. All right, is there a motion, okay, to uh, close the go to welfare portion? I'll second that motion. Motion by Mr. Root, second by Ms. Passio. All in favor? Aye. Public portion is closed. Is there a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn this meeting. Yes. Motion by Ms. Passio, second by Mr. Lomenstein. All in favor? Aye. Aye.